name of this is a Nivelle Barnes fossa. So let's understand few uh, parts of the fossa. So this part of the fossa is known as the blade. It has got two parts. On the outer is known as the pelvic part and on the inside is known as the cephalic part. So the outer part lies parallel to the maternal pelvis and inside will lie close to the baby's head. You can see that there is a big hollow space inside known as a fenestrated blade. This is to reduce the overall weight of the instrument and also this gives a good grip on the baby's head. This end of the blade is known as uh, the tip of the blade and it should be facing upwards. If the faucet tip is facing downwards, it means it is not oriented properly. So it should be this way. Now come to the second part of the faucet which is known as the shank. So the shank starts from the place where the blade ends and this area, that junction is known as the heel or the neck of the shank. This entire area is known as the shank. It reduces the overall weight and the traction which comes from the blade and it reduces pressure on the baby's head. So the shank has got a hollow space here. So this allows for visualization of the perineum and to give any episiotomy if needed. Now the shank ends at a junction and this is known as the lock of the forceps. So this is the type of the lock which is a fixed lock and is known as an English lock. So it goes inside and it remains fixed. Now this part of the forcep is known as the handle and it's got some grooves which for, e for a good grip on the um, handle so that it does not slip and a uniform traction is applied on the baby's head. So the overall length of the instrument from here to this area it's around 37 to 40 centimeters. The weight of the instrument one blade it's around 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 kilograms. Overall when locked the weight of the instrument is around 1.2 kilograms. So when the faucet blades are applied on the baby's head and a traction is given to deliver the baby the maximum force that we can apply is equivalent to 30 pounds 20 to 30 pounds for a primary gravida or even less if it if the mother is delivering for the second time